everyone, so today I'm going to show you a few of the new beauty products that I've acquired over the last couple of weeks. It's not really going to be like a haul video, but I'm just going to show you a few things that I've got and you know my first impressions on them. So I was actually in London last week and I definitely took the opportunity to pick up a few things there that I hadn't been able to get my hands on um, anywhere else. And um, I actually bought quite a lot of makeup, which I'm surprised by because usually I'd be more about the skincare, but I think I've kind of found a skincare routine at the moment that I'm so happy with. I just don't want to try anything else. It's really strange because usually I'm chopping and changing between things, trying out new products all the time, but at the moment I'm just really happy with what I have. So I'll definitely be putting up a skincare routine soon for you because I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. One thing I did get though was the Picasy Glow Tonic and this is something that I've wanted for quite a long time. I've been using my Clarins Gentle Exfoliating Toner which is really nice. Um, but I use that more in the evening, so I wanted a similar thing that I could use in the daytime that was slightly more gentle. Um, and this is basically an exfoliating toner, so it's got kind of um, fruit acids and glycolic in it as well. So it just kind of polishes the skin off, and it's more of a gentle way to exfoliate, which I've been really preferring to do at the moment. Some people will know that this went out of stock for such a long time, and it was really hard to get hold of. Um, but I just happened to stop by the Pixie store, and there was a couple there, so I picked one up. And I've actually been using this now for probably a week or so, maybe a little bit longer, and I really have noticed that it is so brightening and exfoliating and kind of just makes my skin look incredibly radiant but really really smooth too. I've even noticed, I'm not sure if it is this, but I think it may have something to do with it, that a lot of the kind of pores around my nose have really closed up and they just kind of look a little bit clearer and fresher so I think this is a really great skincare product and I've definitely been enjoying incorporating that into my routine. I also picked up a body product and this is the um, And Other Stories um, Fig Fiction Body Scrub and I've never actually been to And Other Stories but it's a really amazing shop, it's got some really nice clothes, really great style, but it's also got so many beauty products. They have um, all sorts of different scents and, and smells and ranges, but with the same product, so you, there's about 10 different scrubs, 10 different body washes, all sorts of things, all different fragrances. So um, this is the Fig one, which is quite musky and deep. I kind of got this one because I thought going into kind of autumn, winter soon, um, it would be a nice smell to have. The thing I like about this is that it's so rich, it's kind of like a really hard scrub, so when you actually open it up and you know try to get a little bit out, it, it's, you have to kind of like really dig it out, um, but that makes the, um, the scrub so much more exfoliating. I think they've just really packed all the beads together, even just opening that. Oh, the smell is just incredible. It really lingers as well. The smell kind of really stays with you, which I was kind of surprised by because it is just a scrub um, that you wash off. So I definitely want to get hold of the body lotion, maybe the body butter, all, all the range, because I think it's just a really lovely fragrance. Something similar, actually, that I will just quickly mention that I picked up in the Space NK sale a couple of weeks ago is the Diptyque Fragrance Betty Vario. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I can never say any of the Diptyque names, but there you go. Um, this is actually in the old packaging, you might notice. It's in the square bottles, which I think I kind of prefer. Um, so they're obviously selling it off, you know, really, really cheap to get rid of the old bottles. So I got this for £20, and it was supposed to be I think 60 or 70 this is the full size although I don't think it has any fig in it it's actually a very similar fragrance to the body scrub so layering them together is really nice um, I think it's actually got vetiver in it which I really really like at the moment it's kind of a deep musky almost quite planty smell um, but I've just been preferring to wear that recently so I'll get a lot of use out of that one I'm sure so moving on to makeup and if you follow me on Twitter you should know that I've had such a struggle to try and get hold of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer over the last couple of months and um, I remember it was completely out of stock for ages and ages, my shade in particular which is Vanilla, um, the one that they matched me to, I just couldn't seem to get hold of it anywhere but I finally managed to find one in Southridges last week and um, I've actually been really enjoying using it. It's not quite what I expected it to be, it's a lot kind of thicker but more kind of creamy, it almost feels like it's quite whipped, quite airy, um, so I find just pressing it into the skin really melts it in and it sits really, really well. Considering it's quite radiant and quite glowy, it doesn't crease at all, it doesn't kind of come off too easily, it's really long lasting, but it's super, super pigmented, so you barely need any of it. So alongside that, I've been using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and it was kind of a spontaneous purchase, I just decided to pick both of them up while I was there, and this stuff has been around for so long, I think ever since I started watching YouTube videos, probably like four or five years ago, people have been using this and raving about it and I'm actually so so glad I got it. This just seems to be the perfect foundation. It's got great coverage but it's not heavy and it just kind of smooths out the skin and it's lovely and radiant but it's not too shiny at all and I, I really really like it. I think it's very similar actually to the Gemma Kid Light as Air foundation which you should all know I absolutely love and I'm kind of really sad that you can't get hold of it anymore so I might have found a replacement for it. Two kind of slightly annoying things about this though, it doesn't come with a pump so you either have to kind of treacherously pour it out and waste loads of product or actually purchase one separately. I think it was only a couple of pounds but it does really add to it and then you can't even put the lid on top so it just kind of sits there 
with the pump open, I don't think it looks particularly nice. Um, and then the second thing is, like most NARS packaging, it's really matte, so it just gets dirty so quickly and Kind of that's that's not a major deal, but that annoys me. So another thing that I managed to pick up that's been out of stock every other time I've tried to get it is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I was really intrigued by this because I sometimes need to set my concealer with powder, but most of them just tend to make your eyes look a little bit duller rather than brightening them up. But this one is actually supposed to make them look brighter and more awake, and it's actually got tiny little flecks of not glitter but just the sheen like a kind of spark in it but that goes completely invisible once it's on um, but it definitely does kind of give you more radiance under there it kind of brightens it doesn't look like powder it just looks like a really kind of nice satiny finish I've actually used this every single day since I got it and I'm really really enjoying using it so I think if you have problems with um, concealer creasing under your eyes but you don't want to use a heavy powder this is definitely a great thing to try so recently I've been getting back into Benefit makeup and I used to have every single one of their box blushes I remember thinking they were just the best things ever um, but I kind of lost interest in them about a year ago but I bought the Havana blush um, a few months ago and I really enjoyed that so I picked up their new one which is called Rockature now first thing the packaging is just awful <laughs> I think it's really, really tacky looking. It's kind of like a gold crocodile snake skin with pink lace over it, and I'm sure they were going for kind of like a rock tick look, but I just really, <laughs> really don't like it. But the actual brush is really, really pretty. It's got rock written into it, um, and it's kind of almost like a bluey pink, which I don't usually go for, but similar to Havana, just something that I've been really drawn to. It's actually quite different to their other blushes. It's got kind of a sparkle and a sheen in it, but it's not glittery at all, so it's nowhere near um, as sparkly as Coralista or Sugar Bomb, um, but it just gives a really pretty kind of glowy flush on the cheeks, and um, I think the colour's really nice. You can kind of build it up to be quite dark, or you can keep it quite natural and subtle. So the last kind of high-end thing I have to show you here is actually something quite special. I've wanted one of these for so, so long, because I think they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, and this is a YSL Rouge for Luxe. So these were actually in the Phil Unique sale and I was kind of shocked to find them there because you don't usually get um, such a high-end expensive product with so much discount off. So I think they were something like 15 or 20% off which brought them down to just under £20. It took me quite a while to decide which colour to get but in the end I went for number 13 Peach Passion because I thought it would just be a colour that I could get so much wear out of. It's just a really pretty kind of corally warm pink, just a really nice everyday colour so I'm really really excited about starting to wear that. So I've actually bought quite a few lip products recently and um, another one I have here is from Smashbox. And Smashbox is a brand that I've never really had too many things from but now they've gone into boot stores um, and I actually have one in my local store account so I can go and swatch things and try them out. Um, I think I'm going to be getting quite a few things from them because they're a really great brand. Um, but this is called Electric Pink and it's a matte lipstick. It's actually what I have on at the moment. Um, and it's a really great coloured pink. It reminds me of MAC Impassioned, which I do have as well. Um, but I find that sometimes that's a bit too glossy. I think when I go for a bright lipstick, I do prefer it to be matte. Um, so this one really sits nicely and it kind of stays nice and velvety looking. Um, but still quite moisturising too, so I'm really impressed with the formula of that one. So sticking along the lines of matte lipsticks, I actually saw these on the sleek counter and I haven't seen them before so they must be quite new, um, but they're called the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Creams and I've been loving these whole kind of new age lipsticks where they're in more of like a Dover applicator, kind of like the liquid lipstick, so similar to the Hourglass one or the Rimmel um, Apocalypse. What I really love about these though is that they go on really thinly and really really pigmented but then they kind of dry down and they look like you're wearing just a really nice bright matte lipstick but they feel so weightless and so light it doesn't really feel like you've got anything on there. I've got two colours, these are called Party Pink and Rosa Red. I actually had the pink one on yesterday and I put it on at about 8 o'clock in the morning and I, you know, I had lunch, I had loads of drinks and things and about 6 o'clock I looked in the mirror again and I'm not even joking, it looked exactly the same as when I put it on in the morning, so I'm actually amazed by the lasting power of these. So if you've been watching my videos for quite a while, or if you've been reading my blog for a long time, you should know that I always used to have to wear um, a really kind of thick black liquid liner on my top lashes, um, in kind of like a cap flick. I think it was more of like a security blanket kind of thing, I just felt like I needed it and I looked naked without it. Um, but recently I've been sort of embracing more of a minimal makeup look, so I haven't really been wearing anything but eyeshadow and mascara on my eyes. Recently though, I was looking at the Rimmel stand and I saw that they had some new eyeliners just come out and this is the Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner and I cannot even explain 
how small this little nib is. It's a felt tip liner which I sort of prefer to use if I am going to wear a liquid liner just because I find it gives you a bit more control with what you're doing. Um, but it's just so, so, so tiny. You can get the smallest, thinnest little line out of it. The tiniest little flick um, and I can just kind of wear eyeliner more now in a way that kind of thickens up my lashes but doesn't look like I'm wearing a thick kind of line of it which I really prefer to do. The formula is actually waterproof as well so it really does stick around and I think it's just a really great liner that I'm going to get a lot of use out of over the next couple of weeks. So the last thing I have to show you here is quite a new product from Maybelline and this got me quite excited. Um, it's the Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and I think this is probably the first of its kind in like the drugstore makeup section. It's basically like um, a clear mascara but tinted. Um, so this is the medium brown shade and it's got a really funky wand actually. It's kind of thicker at the end and then thinner at the bottom so you can kind of comb through the filler part of the brow and then the arch as well. I find this is really great when I don't want to wear too much makeup but I just want to kind of define my brows slightly. Um, so I just comb a bit through onto my natural brows but also if you're wearing powder or liner through them this just kind of helps to set that all down but also give it a little bit more colour as well. I'm really impressed with Maybelline for actually bringing this out and I think their new releases have been really great as well so maybe in a kind of on form at the moment and I think this is going to be a really really popular item. So those are all the latest additions to my beauty stash and I hope you enjoyed watching that. I'm sure there'll be sort of various reviews and things popping up on my blog soon of all of those which you can find at www.icovertly.com. Um, so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.